Hey guys, so this is going to be a video that's going to show you detail, step by step, how to do the immigration hyperdoc. So first thing we're going to do is actually open up the hyperdoc. And you're going to find that on my website. Now at this point in the semester, you should know how to get to my website, but if you don't, once again, it's on the school website under the teacher section under my name. You could also find it on eCadence. But we're going to go and open up the hyperdoc, which is right here. Coming to America Immigration Hyperdoc. So we're going to go ahead and open that. Now, as you can see, there's also the how-to video. So if you forget what you're doing, you could always come back and watch the video how to do it. So here's the hyperdoc. Now, first thing I want you to do is make a copy of it. So this is my copy. I want you to take and make your own. So you're going to go to file and you're just going to go and make a copy. Now, the copy that you're going to make, you're going to title it a certain way. I want you to call it uh, whatever your first name, um, last name, period, and then dash, and then coming to America, hyperdoc, or immigration hyperdoc, I'm sorry. Okay, so that's what your title is. Your first name, your last name, period, whatever, coming to America, immigration hyperdoc. So that's what it should call it, and you're gonna make the copy. Now, when you make the copy, what's happening now is you're taking my version and you're making it into your own. See, now you see here's the name. You, you should have your first and last name, period, and then coming to America, immigration hyperdoc. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta share this with me now. So that way I have access to your document, your hyperdoc. So you're gonna go to share, and here's where you're gonna type in Carbohol. All right, so I'm just going to type in here in Carbohol. And as you can see, uh, my email pops up. Now, this is my personal email, so I'm not going to click on that, but you'll find my Carbohol underscore R at auhsd.us. And when you put my, when you find me there, then you'll be able to hit to send it to me, and I'll have access to it. If you have a student teacher by any chance, you got to send it to your student teacher. But now you have made a copy of it, you have title it, first name, last name, period, whatever, and coming to American Immigration Hyperdoc, and you have shared it. Now it's time to start working on this project. So I'm gonna go back to the original one here. So um, first thing you're gonna do is it says, you're gonna do a word web, highlight the term immigration and open up the comment box and write down as many words, minimum 10, as you could think of that best describes or has anything to do with immigration from your history or from history, from general, from anything. So you're gonna highlight immigration and then some little boxes pop up and you click on that a little box right here. And here you're gonna give me 10 words that you can make you think of immigration, either from history or again, from your personal life, from your parents' life, whatever. So I'm not gonna give you any words because then I don't want you guys to copy them. So I'm just gonna type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are ten words. Now, obviously, these aren't about immigration, but your ten words will be. And then you're going to copy them. So you're going to right-click it and then hit copy. So now you hit comment, and now your ten words are here. So now you have made a, a word web of the word immigration, and I'll see the ten comments that you have here, ten words. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take those 10 words, and since you copy them, you're going to turn them into a word cloud. Now, how do, you, how do you do that? Now, here is the word cloud generator. You're going to click on there and go here. Now, if for some reason you forget how to do this, there's a video here that shows you how to do it, but I'm going to show you right now. So, right automatic, automatically, it opens up like this, and you're going to go here and put in your 10 words. So, I'm just going to put right-click and paste since I copied the 10 words. And like, again, these are my 10 words, just 10 words to show you how to do this. And then you're going to click generate. When you generate, this is your word cloud right here. Now we need to take this word cloud. So we're going to save it. So we're going to click save. And when it saves, it's going to ask you what it is. So, you know, word cloud, oops, word cloud. And then you put your email. So here's where you would put your email so it could actually send it to you. Okay. And then you're going to hit save. Once you do that, um, it will send you a copy of it. Now, if we go to my email, see, there's this word uh, cloud, click on it. And when you click on it here, it opens up your word web. Now, what you need to do is download it. And when you click download, it starts to actually download it for you. Okay, now that you've downloaded it, you see it right here, you click on it and it's gonna open up like an image. And then I want you to right click it and I want you to go ahead and hit copy. And then go back to your word web and I want you to paste it right here. Now, as you see, I already have one here. So I'm gonna hit that one and hit delete. So you're gonna go delete the one I had there 
And then right here, you're just gonna right click and hit paste, or in this case, control V, and there is the one that I just made right now that we copied from here. All right, so first thing you gotta do again is do your word web with the 10 words over here, then take those 10 words and turn it into a word cloud. All right, let's move on to the next step. The next step is you're gonna do some T4ing here on the document. And the first thing you're gonna T4 is this image. Now this image is of early immigration from the industrial era. And I want you to really look at it like we would an image in class. And I want you to write five comments about what you see here. Like what five things do I want you to get out of here from this picture of early immigration? Then you're gonna fast forward to the next one. And here you're gonna do the same thing for uh, an image of immigration during our current era, like right now. So then I want you guys to look at it this way and it, T4 it in five, right comment, five comments here. So you're gonna have five comments for the image from early in immigration from the industrial era and five comments for a image of urban immigration for today. Then what you're going to do is you're going to compare and contrast both images. How was immigration back then to it is today? And right here, you're going to type in four to, four to five sentences. You're going to tell me um, what is what are they similar and what is different about a four to five sentence paragraph answering that question of how are they the same and how are they different based on those two images. All right. Then the next thing is a video analysis, which means you're going to watch a video. And the video is right here. You just click on it and it opens up the video. And you're going to watch the quick little video that's only oh my goodness that's a lot of that it's almost over all right so you're going to watch the video that's six minutes and 24 seconds long so you're going to watch that video i suggest you take notes because what i want is a 25 word summary right here for you to type in a 25 word summary of what the main idea is of this six minute video. So you might wanna take some notes down to make it easier to write your 25 word summary. Now the 25 word summary, once again, is 23 to 27 words, must be double spaced, um, and each word must be numbered. So that means you have to put in the number right above it. Now the last part and the biggest part of your grade is you're gonna do uh, your immigration history essay. All right, this is a one to two page essay in which you will write your personal immigration history, whether it's yours, your parents, your grandparents. Um, and on the first paragraph, you're going to tell me the who, what, where, and why. How did your family come to this country and all the little history of that. The second paragraph is you're going to write about your experiences with ethnic communities. And in notes number five about immigration, we're going to cover what ethnic communities are. So you'll be able to answer this question, both of ethnic communities that are commercial and residential. And again, when we discuss ethnic communities in class, you'll understand what I mean by this paragraph. Um, third paragraph, you're going to talk about the Americanization movement, and we're going to talk about in notes number five how immigrants in the 1800s were pushed to try to be more American. But the question is, what does that look like? What is more American look like? And we're going to have a discussion on that as well from notes number five. So you're going to think about your family and how are you more Americanized? And you're going to answer that. You're going to add one image at least that shows something about your immigration experience. It could be food, it could be music, it could be your family members. Um, and again, use notes number five on immigration to complete this assignment. Now, what you're going to do next is you're going to create a Google Doc to write your personal immigration history and link it below. N this document must be a made anyone with a link. Here are the instructions of what that should look like. So it's a separate document and here's where you will type it out. But you got to make your own document. So where you're going to go is you're going to go to Drive and you're going to open up a new Google Doc. Okay, and then you're going to title it My my immigration history all right so my immigration history and then we're going to go over to share and we got to make it anyone with a link so we're going to go from clicking here from restricted to anyone with a link and then hit done now what that means is when i open up your document i will actually be able to read it if you don't do that if you leave it unrestricted and when i go click on it it doesn't give me access then you're going to lose the points for this part of the assignment so once you have opened it a new document once you've titled it my immigration history and once you've shared it now it's time to link it to the google doc i mean to the hyperdoc so you're going to copy the url right click copy the url and then we're going to go back to the hyperdoc and right here it says link your essay here so you're going to highlight right here where it says my immigration history and when you do that you're going to right click and right click you're going to put insert link and when you put insert link right here is where you put control V and you copy the link of the Google doc you created and hit apply. And now you see the, the words came, it got, um, and your immigration history got underlined because it's linked. 
So remember, this was the document that you created. Look, I'm just going to type something, something simple like that, and then I'm going to close it. So this is where your essay would go. And then we go back to the hyperdoc. When I click on it, it should take me to the document where that just scribbled that in. And then here's where your essay is going to go. All right. So that is how you um, that is how you do this assignment. So once again, you're going to do the word web here. I mean, the, the, yeah, the word web here with the 10 terms that you could think of about immigration, you're going to take those 10 terms and turn them into a word cloud by using the word cloud generator. You're going to T4 this image of early immigration, and you're going to write your five comments here. You're going to T4 this image of later immigration, today's immigration, and you're going to uh, put your comments here. Then you're going to take the what you went over in those two documents, I mean, those two images, and you're going to write me a compare and contrast summary of what you saw uh, from both images here. So you can type it in and start typing. Then you are going to write a 25 word summary of the video that's linked here. Then you're gonna do your immigration history um, essay and that's gonna be on a separate document and it's gonna be linked down here. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.